Hi guys, Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel, Kristen's Chaotic Life. I am doing another zone cleaning video for you guys today. It is time for zone two. We already went through zone one, which was the porch, the entryway, and the dining room. If you missed that video, then you can find it down below, or I will post it up here, of course. So go watch that first if you wanted to. But this week, we are working in zone two, which is blah, 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 the kitchen. The kitchen is definitely my most busiest area because, you know, people are in and out, they're cooking, they're making messes, they're not cleaning up their messes. My little kids like to spill things and drop food in the floor and then they'll go outside and check in dirt and sticks and leaves and all kinds of other nonsense. And then of course, anytime any of my family cooks anything in the kitchen, they splatter things everywhere. So the kitchen is just always a disaster. Not only that, but it seems like we accumulate so much stuff in our kitchen. Let's go work on my kitchen and just kind of get it cleaned up. Right, so this is my kitchen. It is nothing fancy whatsoever, but I have this little island here with these two bar stools and a trash can over there. I have these pans hanging up, which really honestly drives me crazy. We just don't have much space in our kitchen, so I have them there for now. I'm wondering if maybe during this zone cleaning I can do something about that and maybe take them down, but we'll see. I'm not sure. So here is our stove. We have a bunch of messy paper over there. Top of the fridge is a mess. Up there on the very top is a... There's just stuff thrown up there. I want to actually decorate it and make it look nice and not so cluttered, but I don't know. We'll have to see what we can do. On my countertops, I have way too much stuff on my countertops. Of course, right now I have all those soda bottles because I still need to put water in them. We are putting water in them and storing them for now. My cabinets aren't the best. I need to straighten those up. I'm not sure what all I'm gonna be able to get done. I'm afraid if I open this, something's gonna fall out. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of just stuff that's thrown in there. It was organized, but then I ran out of space elsewhere, so I started throwing stuff in there. A mess. And under my sink is fine. Down here needs to be reorganized, which honestly, that one won't take me very long at all. That's just kind of where I keep my food stuff. I've actually already done my Lazy Susan. It was a mess before, but I kind of cleaned it out, took a few things that I did not need out of there. My um, Instant Pot was on my counter and it was driving me crazy, so I needed to clear a spot for it. So I did do that. So this isn't anything really fancy, but at least it's a little bit more contained. Down here, I just have my, um, like, anything that plugs into anything. My blender, toaster, that is a disaster. <laughs> yeah. So I think for my main focus in here is just clearing out the clutter and making it look a little bit nicer. That's my main goal for my zone cleaning for week two. And I, I do clean my kitchen every night before I go to bed. I like to go to bed with a shiny sink. That's like my thing, going to bed with a shiny sink. So, yeah, I mean, I clean it every night, but obviously last night I left these bottles out here and I still need to go through that paperwork. And yeah. So that's my kitchen. Let's get it cleaned and straightened and organized. 
So the first thing that I wanted to do was just kind of clear everything off. I got everything off of the top shelf area because it was just so cluttered. I have let this stuff pile up and I just haven't ever decorated the top and the fridge always had things on top of it so it just was a mess and I was so tired of it. I was ready to make it look much better and just move things around. So if you go to flylady.net, you can find the launch pad, which can take you to the zones and all the other things that she has you do. Today was zone two, the kitchen, and she is asking us to basically clean off the stove top. But since I do my zone cleaning a bit differently because I work on it in one day, I usually do my zone cleaning on Tuesdays. The Fly Lady asks us to basically do it 15 minutes Monday through Friday. I like to do it on Tuesday and just get it over with because I have young kids and it's much more convenient for me to be able to just get it done and over with so that I can have a little bit more playtime with them on other days. So Monday I do my home blessing hour and then Tuesday I do my zone cleaning and then Wednesday I menu plan and I do my grocery list. And Thursday, I go grocery shopping. And then Friday is a more fun day. So this is the mess that I have made. I have cleared out the cabinets. Cleaned off the top. Now I need to find homes for everything. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. And why? Now I'm just putting things back away. I do not have a pantry. Actually, I do. I made a pantry upstairs in a closet that I have that I wasn't really utilizing very much. So I do have a pantry up there for Costco type foods. But because I didn't have a pantry, like a real pantry, snacks and stuff go in that cabinet where the island is. I put my husband's diet sodas up top in this cabinet because it's convenient and then bags and aluminum foil and things in the next. And then I fit my pans in that cabinet. I was very excited about that. We'll see what my husband says when he comes home and sees that, that our pans are not hanging up anymore because he actually likes them there. I was so excited to get my KitchenAid off of my counter. I really like countertops to just be free of the clutter. It looks so much better and cleaner and oh, I love it so much more now. This drawer really didn't need too much stuff done to it, but I did need to clean out these containers that I have in here and just put the things where they belong and straighten it out a little bit. And now I'm just wiping the counters down because they needed it from all the stuff that was sitting there. And wiping the microwave, of course, and just cleaning it up, making it look nice and shiny and pretty. So I didn't do a full-on mop like I was planning on doing because I really spent a little too much time on decluttering. So I just did a quick mop and then I just did a quick wipe down on the stove and the fridge. All right, so look what I have. I have a bag full of trash and a bag to donate. That makes me so happy. And my zone cleaning is finished. I am very excited. My kitchen has never looked so good in a very long time because it's usually cluttered, but man, I'm feeling good today. So much for watching this video guys if you have not subscribed to my channel yet do so now so you don't miss any more of my videos not to mention you don't want to miss the rest of my zone cleaning videos which will be coming up every Monday until I've done all five zones so after this video I'll have three more the next one will be posted next Monday
Also, don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up, because it definitely helps my channel and it helps get this video out a little bit more so that maybe I can help inspire other people to be on top of their cleaning. Because you know, if you're, li if you're living in chaos, then your life is gonna be chaotic. Should I say that? My, my channel's name is Kristen's Chaotic Life. My life is chaotic, even though I try to stay on top of my chores. <laughs> I have five kids, guys. Five kids. So yeah, life can be pretty crazy around here. But trying to keep your house in order helps so, so, so much. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.